love that he had to the young man while he was still alive because what love is more than a man lay down his life for another. Amen. Was this not what the Lord said in John 15, 12 to 14? My command is this. Love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no man than this. To lay down one's life for another, for one's friends. You are my friends. If you do what I command. If our Father God could love us so deeply, who then are we that we should not love one another? And how did our Father in heaven demonstrate his love to us? We find that in John 3.16. And I'm sure everybody will know John 3 now because our Bible class teacher did not leave us not to forget. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him will not die but have everlasting life. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ came into the world to represent love. Jesus is love. And his ministry is built on truth and love. Jesus is light. And light is the energy which generates love within us. When our master Jesus was asked by this Christ master, which is the greatest of the commands, his answer was that he did not see the greatest of the commands. But there is only one golden cord that binds the ten commands and makes them one. And that is love. If you have love in your heart, you cannot hate. Amen. If you have love in your heart, you cannot falsely testify. Amen. If you have love in your heart, you cannot envy and destroy the good reputation and name of your friend. You cannot covet what is not yours. Amen. You cannot refuse to help your neighbor. You can do nothing other than to love. How do we demonstrate this love in our homes? How many of us have enslaved the children of other disadvantaged or poor people? How many of us have abused our position to lord our authority selfishly on those working under us? How many of us have abused other people's children, either given to us or hired as child labor, especially as practice in Africa to raise our own children? It is common practice in Africa, mostly in broken homes, to see the new mistress in the house mistreating all the children of the ex-wife. Where then is love? What is love? Do you unto others as you will want them to do unto you? It's a simple fundamental doctrine. What about when we find ourselves in a position to help others? To alleviate their problems. To lend a helping hand to put your neighbor back on track. What do we do? Do we use our present position to dominate? To harass or intimidate our fellow human being? As if it is not the same God that created us watching and testing our faith? Let us search our hearts this morning. What do we really understand by that word? Love. The ability to love others does not have anything to do with them. No, it's not with them. It has to do with you. So, brethren, give yourself the gift of love and no other gift is needed. Love is the most important thing you can cultivate in your life. If you do not feel love within you, what then can you be giving to those around you? If you do not feel thoughts of love each day, but we grow up with quality in your life, love is only a mystery when you are not open to it. If you want to open to love, nurture your thoughts of self-understanding, kindness and caring for yourself. The giving and receiving of love is the greatest of all lessons we are here on earth to learn. When you can love freely and not expecting anything in return 
you will have accomplished something quite profound. The seeds of love come in many thoughts and forms, and they are everywhere, but you must first find their beauty and then tend them to fruition. Feel a loving thought towards yourself, and you will begin to feel love grow. Feel love in your heart and mind. Only then will it materialize in your life. Tend and grow your thoughts of love inside yourself, and you will also always have the gift of love to give. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ came into the world symbolizing love. In Matthew 15, 33, he called his disciples unto him and said, I, I have compassion on the multitude because they continue with me now three days and have not to eat and I will not send them away fasting lest they faint in the way. Oh, what a great love. Love gives back to compassion. Love gives back to pity. To consideration, sacrifice and goodwill. In Matthew 25, 42 to 46, Jesus gave an example of the type of love expected from all his followers. He said, For I was hungry, and you gave me nothing to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me nothing to drink. I was a stranger at your door, and you did not invite me in. I did a clothes and you did not clothe me. I was sick and in prison and you did not look after me. They also will answer, Lord, when did you or when did we see you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or needing clothes or sick or in prison and did not help you? Verse 45, he will reply, I tell you the truth. Whatever you did not do for one of the least of these, the poor people, the, your neighbor, the stranger on the street, you did not do for me. Then they will go away to eternal punishment, but the righteous to eternal life. Every action has its own reward. May God bless us all with hearts full of compassion Amen. and eyes to behold the beauty of love in manifestation. <clears throat> if you do not have love in your heart, how can you have compassion for others except yourself? How many of us are ready to throw our fellow human beings out of the, our houses because they do not conform to our expectation or agree with what we like? How many of us have ordered our fellow human beings out of our car or just ignored them standing at the bus stop? That's why the fact that we knew it was raining or very windy or very cold outside and we just roll up the glass of our heated car and pretend we never saw him or her standing even though the following Sunday we shall all assemble in our different churches, places of worship, together singing, clapping our hands and dancing and praying to God for mercy when we don't even have mercy for our neighbor. And it's grace which is really available to those who merit it. Amen. Those of you youths that have parents with calm, you cannot understand what I'm talking about. As revelable how it felt when you used to, to cure the pastor of waiting for buses. Give yourself a break. Parents, stop them. Stop using the car to carry them to school. Let them, let them struggle for a month. And see what it is. When you see your, 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 it's only on Sunday that it's popular here. In conclusion, when you reach your hand to another, do so with love and with open and giving hand and do not reach or do not reach at all. It will rarely be refused. How can you refuse what is an essential part of you? Love is a 